Hunter Rex here, and today I'm gonna be reviewing slash unboxing these things that I got at Multi Toys. And uh, I, I made that video a while back. This is uh, just basically what I got. This is Mothra. Uh, you can see they Bandai done a great job with this sculpting. You can see her eyes. Her her head sculpt is even more amazing. Um, the paint on her wings are very accurate to the original Mothra movies made by, I don't know if it was Showa or the one before, uh, Heisei or something. I can't remember. I barely watched those older movies. So, if you can, uh, the camera won't focus. Anyways, it's Bandai 2005, uh, Toho 2003. Yeah, basically, um... Bandai done a great job with this figure, and I know it's a movie monsters, but it's kind of disappointing that the only point of articulation is her head. I wish they could have done a, a, a posability on the wings, but you know, it's Bandai, they're lazy, so. Next up, we got Space Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla movie, so um, yeah, his head sculpt is, here, I'll just basically compare it, yeah. It looks nothing like him. He looks like uh, he ate spicy food. And so the paint application is all right. Uh, the posability you have in the tail, both of his arms, head articulation, the crystals and the, the spine. Uh, yeah, they're pretty accurate. They're just not glowing because it's not real Godzilla. Um, so basically, yeah, this is him. Oh, yeah. I, did I m already mention that he, uh, he has no posability in the legs? So. Next up, we got Shin Godzilla. Now, in my opinion, he's one of the best movie monsters. Like, his head sculpt is amazing, but no articulation, as you can see. And Bandai was... Like I said, Bandai earlier was lazy and... The camera won't focus. Um, where's his pupil, Bandai? What have you done to him? Okay, so... Um, he's a bit more articulated than the last two figures. Uh, both of his legs are articulate, articulated. Both of his tiny arms are. No head articulation. No tail. Yeah, no tail articulation. But the sculpting on this guy is way better than the last two figures. Uh, the, um, yeah, the, even the tail is pretty good. The spine's very, uh, like, very accurate to the movie. Um, all I can say is he's the best one. Good job, Bandai. Next up, we got Biollante. And yeah, the uh, faces. Wait, these are not faces. These are like jaws on her hands are like yeah you can't open them like the sh i did see this figure online about uh three years ago yeah what yeah 2021 uh she looked way bigger but anyways the sculpting is, is pretty all right not as good as the sh monster arts the back very leafy she looks like a salad but um she just mm, the sculpting is um I mean, it's all right. It's it's movie monsters, but starting a collection with these are is it, pretty good, I guess. I have nothing much to say about this figure, but it's still better than uh, Space Godzilla. So, oh man, I dropped her. Okay, so basically, I I forgot to say, if you're wondering if she's in scale, no, she's not. Th this is not movie monsters. This is a random Japanese. A Godzilla thing that just shakes around something. Yeah, he's he, he's not in scale because Godzilla's about this tall. Um, last but not least, we have Godzilla minus one uh, monsters war attack again made by Bandai. I I hope they don't sc screw up on this figure. It's made by Bandai Namco and Ban Presto. Yeah, the basically the PVC. Uh, statue thing maker for Godzilla. Got the tape off, but I'm not gonna cover uh, all sides of the box. I'm just gonna show you the back. Yeah, that's pretty much what he looked like. 
Hopefully his detail is better than the movie monster one. So let's get him out. So, first of all, you're just going to see a big cardboard box thing. So, uh, another piece of tape. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, yeah. There's my screwdriver. I don't have any. Oh, wait. I can, I can just stab this. You know what? I'm just going to rip it like this. Like any normal person would. So, he's significantly smaller than the movie monsters. So... Another bag, and it's not open. Time to cut it. That I just poked would work. Oh, okay, there it is. So out of the bag, the detailing is way better than the movie monsters. Uh, no posability. He's just a PVC guy. The, it might look like that his neck is posable, not just the, the connecting part. So, yeah, it's a nice a PVC. He, he, he like... He kind of wiggles a lot. That's I don't want to call this a stand because this is not a stand. It's just a tail ho holder. So now let's just go to the sculpting. The paint job on this guy is amazing. I think they did an air brush dry thing. I don't know what it's called. So this guy is way better than the movie monsters. I like him. He's an amazing figure. I can't make stop motions with him because he's just a PVC. I mean, he's very accurate to the minus one version of him. The the spikes on his spine are very accurate. They kind of look like snowflakes. Mm. The feet, um, very good. That's all I can say. So basically, these are all the figures uh, compared to each other. Shin Godzilla is slightly taller than Minus One. Not, but that's not movie accurate because Minus One is tiny. But there's one thing I need to say before I go. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm aiming to hit a thousand years old by the end of summer. Wait, did I just say a thousand years old? Oh, dang it. Wait, wait, come down, come down.